happy to share this information. Uh, this is already 23 years or already 24th year. I'm in healthcare, uh, graduated as a medical doctor. I had some internships in, uh, in Rome, uh, in Italy, in Copenhagen, uh, in Denmark. And I worked uh, in uh, several hospitals uh, in uh, traumatology and neurosurgery and so on. And afterwards, I was, um, um, I was establishing my own private clinics uh, for six years. Uh, I had uh, 150 doctors and nurses working for me in, in the clinics. But uh, later on, I, I, I felt I, get, I have to move on. And uh, I have to do something which seemed to me might be even more important than being a doctor is a preventative healthcare. Because uh, uh, our societies today, Western societies, are no longer healthy. We cannot call them healthy. And that's a big, big issue. And not too many uh, structures work as a preventative healthcare professionally. So... So, well, let me start uh, with uh, that everyone, uh, people, we, uh, every one of us, we want to be healthy, we want to feel good, and we want to stay fit. At the same time, health-related problems are increasing in the world, and it's really time to ask why. It's time to ask, and that's not a rhetorical question, that's what we should really ask, especially as doctors also. Uh, what's going on? Why is it happening? And um, well, Hippocrates, before Christ, he said uh, that uh, let your food be your medicine, your first medicine. So what, what exactly did he say? He said that uh, if anyone is ill, if a society is ill, first, don't go to the pharmacy or to the doctor. First, check what you are eating. And that's a big issue because this is no longer the case that we are eating healthy. Well, in the past, like thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago, uh, we used to eat uh, what mother nature created. So the, the food was full of vitamins and minerals and uh, phyto and uh, micronutrients, beta glucans, fibers, healthy fats, good balance between omega sixes and omega threes. Uh, today, it's uh, man-made food. What does that mean? Well, it's less nutrient density in the food, in the fruits, in the vegetables. Um, it's high in sugars. There are uh, new, um, um, new apples who taste well and uh, new pears and, uh, and new fruits that, are, uh, that there is plenty of sugar in them. And there's many empty calories in, uh, in all those cakes and, um, and uh, candies and uh, uh, bars uh, for kids and, uh, and breakfast for kids and so on. And um, it, it le less fibers, uh, less uh, healthy fats, more unhealthy fats, uh, overheated or, uh, or uh, uh, other types of uh, fats that we shouldn't be eating. And the uh, big imbalance between omega sixes and omega threes. So now, why is that so important? Well, if we divide food into two parts, two big parts, first, as a calorie, uh, so every food uh, could be seen as calories that we burn to exert, to, to do physical exertion or for our organs to work. But there is another, a big group of uh, food that we should uh, consider as building blocks of our body. So when uh, cal calories, uh, so let, let's, let's talk about two types of malnutrition. There is an A type of malnutrition where all the nutrients are lacking. And there is a B type of malnutrition where there is imbalance of the nutrients. So in the A type of malnutrition, lack of all the nutrients, uh, this is what we see in Africa or in, um, uh, during the war. Uh, so people have nothing to eat or very little to eat. They become skinny and that's the symptom. 
Now, B-type malnutrition is today us, every one of us in uh, Western societies, right? In big cities. Why is that so? Well, we eat way too much of some ingredients and way too little of some other ingredients like omega-3s. We all know that almost everyone on this planet is lacking omega-3s, which, uh, which is a malnutrition and uh, fiber and antioxidants and phytonutrients and micronutrients and uh, many, many nutrients that we are lacking. <clears throat> and if you do blood testing, you will see that in the blood tests of many, many people close to almost everyone. And also you will see that there is overeating, right? Overnutrition uh, of some other ingredients like sugars, omega-6s and unhealthy fats and maybe some more. So, so this is B-type malnutrition looks like us. It doesn't look like skinny. Sometimes it even looks a bit, bit too big body weight because uh, unbalanced food is full of calories <clears throat> and lacks building blocks of the body. And why is that so important? Well, it, one over one night or over one week, that would not be that important. And that's the mistake that people make. They eat that uh, B-type food and uh, in a week, they still feel quite okay because the consequences come over time. It takes decades, it takes 10 years, 20 years for the symptoms to develop because of the compensatory mechanisms in our bodies that are so powerful that they hide all of those changes that are, are already happening inside. But later we see that uh, in, in, when people get to their forties or fifties, many, um, many, many parameters in the body are way out of norm and symptoms begin to arise and uh, diseases begin to form. So this is the situation that has to be prevented beforehand so now uh, many people believe they are already doing whatever they have to do they they do some sport um they they think they eat wealthy they eat uh, healthy but uh that's not the truth the tests show that this is not the truth and the results show this is not the truth those who did sport they also were hit by many, many of the chronic uh, diseases and states um, later on in life. So, and end up in a hospital. Well, let's see uh, what happened over time in history with one of the two groups of main building blocks of our body. Omega-6s and omega-3s are fats that our bodies do not produce neither omega-6s nor omega-3s. We got to eat them in the right proportion. And that was the case in the past. Our DNA is programmed for one-to-one -one ratio. So if in our cells, if we take some cells from the body and measure, and we see that we have the same amount of omega-6s in the cell membrane as omega-3s, so it's one-to-one -one ratio, that means we are in a genetic norm. Now, many scientists believe that three to one is the last deviation, which I believe even stricter than that. I want to keep myself lower than two to one. And why is that so important? Well, we could discuss is it two to one or three to one, but no one no longer discusses about over four to one because uh, all the testing, all the studies show that when cells get over four to one, they start making mistakes, many different mistakes. And uh, it's about gene expression. It's about hormones that regulate uh, blood pressure. It's about hormones that regulate blood clothing. Uh, it's about inflammation. It's about many, many, many processes. It's about cell membrane fluidity index, many processes are get impaired. They get out of norm. They get out of genetic norm. It's, it's no longer what we are programmed for genetically. 
So what is the real situation today? In European Union, the ratio is 15 to one average. That is catastrophe. And uh, that, that has the consequences and we see them in uh, public health. Now in the United States is 25 to one or even worse. And kids, uh, children in European Union also have close to 25 to one average. Why? Because they're eating more of the omega sixes and less of the omega threes. It's very difficult um, uh, with kids so that they would eat uh, fish, but they like uh, uh, candies, they like uh, everything what's made from grain, corn, or soy. So corn flakes, that would be their breakfast, uh, what they like, right? And uh, the bars, the sweet bars uh, with uh, nuts and everything in there. So, and it's also omega sixes. And uh, they like meat and meat, uh, the cows, they are no longer eating grass as in the past thousands of years ago. They're eating uh, combined uh, um, uh, fed, fed uh, um, uh, mixtures that are from uh, corn, <clears throat> soy, and uh, grain, because that's the cheapest source. And also with the uh, birds that are raised in farms, and also with fish that, uh, that is raised in farms. So omega-6 is uh, um, uh, on the ground uh, growing uh, 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 plants, they produce fats that are omega-6s. Omega-3 is that our bodies are lacking is the C omega, C um, fat that C um, weeds produce. It's not the, the what fish produces. Fish doesn't produce omega-3. Fish just eats omega-3 if it is uh, growing uh, um, wildly not in the farm. But if it is growing in the farm, it eats omega-6 because it eats those uh, uh, feeding uh, mixtures. <clears throat> so <clears throat> this is what we end up having. Uh, and, and those ratios, are uh, they, they are a bit different in uh, different countries. Like in Scandinavia, it's about 12 to 1. Um, in Baltics, it's uh, about 14 to 1. In Germany, it's, it's getting closer to 20 to one and so on. And I believe that in, um, in Philippines and in, uh, India, and we have some tests already made, it might be 20 to one or worse. So what does that do to the body and where can we find information about it, right? So first, the cell membrane fluidity index, that's one of the most important things because if the ratio changes between omega-6s and omega-3s, um, the cell membrane fluidity lowers down, which means that uh, all the nutrients get into the cell slower and all the waste out of the cell gets slower, which uh, in other words, that means that every cell in the body of those people with that ratio is hungry, is starving, and is intoxicated a bit more than it should. So first, what we recommend is to return back to good ratio for the self fluidity index to return back to normal. So, so this is one of the things, but let's, let's check more of the things, what Omega-3 does. This is Harvard uh, School of Public Health. Here's what they say about what Omega-3s do in, the, in, in our bodies. They are an integral part of cell membranes throughout the body that we already discussed. Affect the function of the cell receptors in these membranes. So like insulin susceptibility could change. Many things could change because of the cell receptors changing their function. Now, starting point for making hormones that regulate blood clotting contraction and relaxation of artery walls, which is a bad uh, situation with many, many people over 50 years of age and sometimes even 40. Inflammation, this is uh, really changing the world today. Many, many people have consequences of slower or faster inflammation in their bodies. Now, regulate genet genetic function. 
which may end up very, very bad. Due to these effects, omega-3 fats have been shown and you can read the rest. So this is what Harvard says, uh, one of the most respected schools, uh, medical schools um, in uh, the world. Now, what does PubMed say? United States National Library of Medicine, National Institutes of Health. That's 2002, but, uh, but the same information was issued one more time, 2008, and uh, many, many, many scientific studies came after. Here's what it says. Excessive amounts of omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids and very high omega-6 to 3 ratio, as is found in today's Western diets, promote the pathogenesis of many diseases, including cardiovascular cancer and inflammatory and autoimmune disease. Secondary, in the secondary prevention of cardiovascular disease, a ratio of four to one was associated with a 70% decrease in mortality. This is, this is something that really hits me as a doctor and uh, especially as a preventative healthcare uh, professional today, because this is something we can change if we return people back to normal ratio, right? So, and it also says about inflammatory diseases, autoimmune, uh, which, and, and what they say is increased levels of omega-3, low omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, exert suppressive effects. So this is something I'm after in this very planet. I want to balance people back to lower than three to one. And uh, if you test yourself, you might see your result 15 or 20 to one, and your children might be 25 or even 40 or even more to one. That's not a good place to be. That's a danger zone. So are you in the danger zone? And how do you know? Well, there is a blood test and more and more laboratories do this blood test. Now, don't confuse this blood test with all the other blood tests. This blood test is, could be compared to a biopsy. Why? Uh, what we are measuring is not some supplement and what's in the supplement. It's not uh, the fatty acids in uh, fish fat or, uh, or in the food that we eat. We are not measuring what's in the cholesterols and in all the other um, uh, fatty acids that are in the blood. What we are measuring is erythrocytes. It's the cells. And what ended up to be a um, uh, very interesting thing that omega-6 to omega-3 ratio and omega-3 ratio in erythrocytes correlates with the ratios in all the other organs of the body. So if you find lack of omega-3 in the erythrocyte, this is most probably that your brain is also lacking omega-3 and your heart and your arteries and your kidneys and every organ in your body is lacking and it has the same omega-6 to omega-3 ratio as erythrocytes. So this is a very, very precise test. Uh, the, 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 um, it shows exactly where you are and it shows what you ate for the last close to six months, um, four to six months. So, so because the cells, erythrocytes are created every day and they die every day and the, the uh, time that they live is close to 120 days, that's four months. So if you change your diet, if you include more omega-3s, the right omega-3s in your diet, you should be testing the test after four to six months to see the results in erythrocytes. And, in, and that would correlate to the whole body. Now we have already made 550,000 balance tests so far in all, all, all around the world. And this is the biggest database of uh, those tests on the planet. I, <clears throat> I could bet probably that the next uh, closest number of, uh, of the next biggest database could be like 15,000 or 20,000 max. So, so this is a huge, huge, huge study that we are doing and huge change that we are doing with, the, with those that were tested. Now, 
Where do we do the tests? It's an independent laboratory, and that's very important for us. We want to monitor everyone who is not taking omega-3 supplements. We want to monitor those who are taking all the different, different omega-3 supplements in all the markets, and we want to monitor ourselves, and we want it objectively. That's why we use an independent laboratory to check and measure all of those numbers. So what we do, we just buy uh, wholesale of uh, tests from the laboratory and we do uh, retail. So we are intermediate structure between the laboratory and the customer. So that's our function with the test. And uh, the most important thing here is to be objective and to see what's the real situation and what then can we change? So in Vitas Analytical Services in Norway, uh, many respected uh, schools and universities and scientists do testing. So it's a big, big laboratory. Stanford, Harvard, uh, Cambridge, uh, King's College London, many, many others do their testing there. And we are just one of the customers. Now, what can you see in the test um, report? That's very important because more and more laboratories do this test, but test reports are very, very small and, uh, and they show very little in most of those laboratories. What, I, uh, what, I've, saw, uh, what I've seen so far. Uh, in Vitas laboratory, we get very, very thorough analysis of uh, fatty acids. It's 11 different fatty acids and many different ratios and many different parameters that we get from this laboratory. And that's why we choose that laboratory. So omega-6 to omega-3 balance, that's one of, the, one of the ratios that you get. The second one is your protection value. What would that mean? That would mean something we read in PubMed and uh, we can read in many other um, uh, scientific studies. So if the ratios are bad, we are not protected uh, from the consequences. And the better are the ratios, the better we are protected. So there is a ratio from zero to 100%, and you can check your ratio. Now, omega-3 index, that shows how much omega-3 you have from 100% norm. So is it 30%? Sometimes it's 13% from 100%. Sometimes it's close to 50, like 40 or 45. So, and if you start uh, changing uh, with balance oil, what, uh, what Zinzino came uh, to develop, uh, then you get to back to 100. Now, mental strength index, that omega-3s are very important in, uh, in the brain, in central nervous system. And uh, mental strength means that people who lack omega-3s, their brains, have difficulty to function normally. And uh, they, they use more time to make decisions. They do more mistakes. Uh, they get tired fast. Uh, and, uh, and that was tested on the computers. And uh, if you balance the same person back to normal, they tend to uh, make decisions faster. They tend to, um, uh, to do less mistakes. And, and they are much longer uh, doing the work without um, enlarging the number of mistakes. So, and membrane fluidity index that we already talked about. Now, on the right corner, or right lower corner, you see my own uh, personal results. And B4 means in 2012, I've, I've done my first uh, blood testing and it showed 11 to 1 and only 44% percent of omega-3 from 100. And uh, uh, keeping in mind that I was taking omega-3 supplements and some of the expensive ones on the market, and I believe that they were helping me, but that was not the case. Maybe they helped me a couple percent, but clinically speaking, it was very low uh, change, very little change. So after I started uh, working with Zinzino uh, Balance Oil, I returned back to 1.6 to 1 and 100% uh, of omega-3. And I am retesting myself every single year. Why? Because my age is changing. My physical exertion is changing. My diet is changing. 
I was I used to travel a lot, and now I I don't travel that much, as you understand uh, these days uh, with all those lockdowns and uh, quarantines. So uh, everything is changing, and I I'm not sure I'm I'm still in the same balance the next year. So this year, this uh, ratio that you see is uh, uh, about one month ago. So, so I'm happy I'm still in the safe zone. And that's what I recommend to you. Now, um, you can see the progress. You can uh, check uh, before. You can uh, use whatever omega-3 supplement. You can eat a lot of fish and retest and get retested in four to six months. And you will see it's not that easy to return yourself back to normal ratios. And uh, that is the, the reason is uh, uh, the fish that is no longer the same quality as it should be. And supplements, we will be talking about the supplements uh, right now. They are not close to not working. They are very badly designed. So let's, let's see. 95% uh, of Europeans failed the test. 98% of Australians and 99% of all the, the people tested in the United States failed the test. The test showed red. Now, uh, those who were taking omega-3 supplements, they failed the test. And that 7 to 1 is only in Scandinavia. In um, the, the Baltics, uh, it's 10 to 1 for those who were taking omega-3 supplements. And in the United States, it's sometimes 20 or 15 to 1 those who were taking omega-3 supplements. So what's wrong with the supplements? And, and the biggest question is, how, so what can we do to fix this problem? And this is also not a rhetorical question. That's a very question to you today and to me and to us together. So what can we, you and us, change in this world or at least in your own family? or at least in your own town, or maybe in your country, or maybe in more countries around the globe. So how do we solve this problem? And here's what Zinzino came up with. The big, big group of scientists, Paul Clayton, Dr. Paul Clayton, he's from Oxford, uh, from United Kingdom, Ola Ede from Norway, uh, Angela Rizzo, Dr. Angela Rizzo is from Italy, and uh, Dr. Abraham, and many, many more um, doctors and scientists worked on this. And uh, here's what they came up with, that uh, nutrition, up till uh, this moment that they offered uh, a different path, nutrition was a guess-based. What would that mean, a guess-based nutrition? That means that many people, let's say about omega-3 supplements, they were taking omega-3 supplements, but were never tested. What was the change? What did they achieve? And that's a guess-based nutrition. They, they were guessing that those omega-3s were working for them, and they were not. So what those scientists offered, they offered something different that never existed before, which is called test based nutrition, where everything is measured, what we are doing, not just discussed. Now, if, uh, if you gather five or more omega-3 salesmen in the market of different omega-3s, they would be telling you that their omega-3 is the best. And they would be hitting their chest that, uh, that what they do is the best, the, the, the finest, and that will help you the most. And that is a guest-based nutrition because they never tested it. They just believe in it and they sell it. Or maybe some of them don't even believe in that. So now what we do is test it and all the discussions or the philosophy in, in a bad sense of, uh, of way um, is... Uh, is a way we are objective in that we know we helped or we didn't and that came to the point so they were creating the supplement and retesting and creating and retesting until they found the formula that really works 
that really returns people back to normal. And then we can retest it in an independent laboratory or in any other laboratory, if you will. So what is the supplement that returns people back to six to three, omega six to three ratio in 120 days? It's called balanced oil. And the most important ingredient in this supplement, uh, surprisingly, is not omega-3. That's a very interesting thing. Omega-3 supplement and the most important ingredient is not omega-3. So what is it? Well, it turns out that omega-3s, seaweed produces omega-3. It's down in the water where there is very little oxygen and very low temperature plus two, three uh, Celsius. So omega-3s are very sensitive to air, to oxidation and to temperature and to sunlight. So if omega-3s are exposed to some of those, to temperatures, to oxygen and to sunlight, they spoil over very little time in hundreds of a second or in seconds. So the antioxidant, is the substance that protects omega-3 from, uh, from this process. So antioxidant is more important than omega-3 because your, if your antioxidant is too weak to protect your omega-3s inside the body, they will spoil and you will not get the benefits. So it's not, the benefits come not from taking the supplement or eating fish. The benefits come from your cells getting the omega-3s and returning back to normal ratios. So if the supplement doesn't return you, if the omega-3 spoil, you never return back to normal ratios and you never get the results that you are after. So polyphenols, that's what those scientists came up with. Polyphenols, they, they are in many sources of food, you can uh, investigate that. But in olives, there are very powerful polyphenols that can protect fats from oxidation, even in quite high temperature. I mean, body temperature, right? Because body temperature is not refrigerator temperature or, or even uh, uh, room temperature. It's uh, 36 or 37 degrees Celsius. And in that temperature, you need a very powerful antioxidant so that omega-3 would not spoil. Now, polyphenols worked and uh, you will see the slide a bit later. Now, talking about omega-3. Omega-3 is, is a very high dose in balanced oil. You, it's, well, it's a building material, omega-3s, building material of your cell membranes. So if you get a very little amount, this will not return your cells back to normal. You need a lot for a big body. You need lower amount for a small body. So it's dosed by body weight. So you need to dose it correctly, the omega-3s. And uh, what I came up um, to see uh, in my practice that I need 5,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA every single day so that my ratios would be back to green zone. Well, maybe it is because I do a lot of sport. I run a lot and uh, sometimes I run 50 kilometers per, per week. Uh, so this is, this is quite a big physical exertion. And maybe I burn part of those omega-3s instead of uh, using them as a building blocks. So I need 5,000. But most of the people, they need close to three, 4,000 milligrams. And if you check all the supplements on the market, you will see that most of the supplements are not even close to this. They are giving uh, people 250 milligrams, which is one twentieth of what I need. Or it's 750 or 1,000, 1,600, but not more than that. So which is, well, what I would say is imitating that they are doing something, not really changing the world. So... Vitamin D3 is also in balanced oil, vitamin E, and, um, and no oxidation is happening with this product. Now, even this product could not help everyone. So there is a second generation product, which is called Aquax. It's soluble in water. 
uh, what that 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 happens with uh, substances, natural substances. They are not synthetic. They're natural from certain uh, um, uh, 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 plants that grow on the ground. And the same ingredients are in eggs. Uh, it's emulsifiers. That's something. Uh, emulsifiers is a substance that can uh, dissolve uh, um, uh, fats in liquids, in water. So, so with emulsifiers, uh, absorption is even better. Even more people get back to, uh, uh, to good ratios. Now there is third generation vegan. Uh, or more and more people become vegan these days. And we uh, ended up producing uh, omega-3 balanced oil uh, directly from seaweeds and also capsules. They are more used in the United States or with people who are traveling a lot and uh, don't use refrigerator. So, well, now we have all of those uh, certificates and uh, it's, uh, uh, we came to the point where it makes me laugh or smile a bit about the certificates because there are more and more of them on this planet and they don't mean that much to me anymore. But we still are getting all of those certificates. Now, this is one of the most important slides about oxidation. About, uh, so, so how do you keep omega-3 uh, fresh and potent? So if you uh, protect it from oxidation. Now here's krill oil. And that's a study that's done with Sintef, the Norwegian uh, huge uh, research company, an independent research company, right? So krill oils are very, very marketed uh, aggressively in many markets in the United States. They were oxidized, the omega-3s were oxidized inside the body in five hours. This is not even crossing the uh, stomach barrier sometimes. So it's in the stomach or in the gut, in the very beginning uh, of the gut. So it's not a good product. Now, concentrated omega-3s, they are very, um, well, uh, attractive because the price is good. Uh, the concentration, sometimes uh, the, the dosage is uh, quite high. Sometimes it's 1,000, 1,600 milligrams per day. That's what they offer. It oxidized in nine hours which means that, uh, well, in the stomach and in the gut. Now, cod liver oil is very wi widely uh, used uh, as an omega-3 supplement, oxidized in 15 hours. And that might be even dangerous. Why? In 15 hours, omega-3s are not yet in, imprinted in the cells, but already in your bloodstream, in your liver, somewhere inside your system. So if they oxidize on the way in your liver or in your vessels, blood vessels, that's not something I would like for myself. So I'm, I'm avoiding those products and I, I don't recommend them to anyone. Now, balance oil with polyphenols. In 35 hours, uh, the, the uh, experiment was discontinued because it's already, omega-3s are already imprinted in your cells. Well, that maybe it would be fresh for another 30, 60, whatever hours, but there's no need to check that anymore. So this is, this is the, the, the case. This is why when I do testing, here's the people who, some of them, they were taking omega-3 supplements with vitamin E as an antioxidant, and they are tested, the tests were read. Once they started on omega-3 with polyphenols, the tests became green. Or if they took too little of it, because they, saved, they wanted to save some money, well, the they tests came uh, still uh, with many yellow dots. Now, one more time. So two things are important about omega-3 supplements. And number one is antioxidant. If it's polyphenols, then it's good. And second is dosage. If it's uh, 3,000 to 5,000 milligrams, it's good. Okay, let's move, move on further. So you can return yourself and your customers and your family 
back to good ratios in 120 days with Zinzino, um, produced uh, balance oil or, uh, or capsules or, or vegan oil. Now, who should be interested in that? Is there anyone who is not affected by lack of omega-3? And the answer is no, everyone needs it. Those who are not born yet or just born, those who are growing as kids, those who are uh, uh, adults and the elderly. And there are many, many um, um, <clears throat> benefits uh, and health claims that we can claim. Brain function, immune function, growth, reproduction function, uh, skin, hair, nails, uh, heart and cardiovascular health and joints. Bone, uh, bone structure, and many, many more. And here's uh, EFSA, European Food Safety Authority. And now, one more time, the most important thing is those health claims are only for those who returned back to good ratios. These health claims do not fit to those who were taking some supplement that was helping very little. So. If you want those health claims to be uh, for you, you've got to retest and test with the green ratios. And then this is, this is what happens with your body. So, so if you return back to normal ratios, this helps your normal brain function, this helps your heart normal function, normal immune function, normal vision, normal teeth, uh, normal bone structure, uh, and many, many, many other things. Normal blood cholesterol, lower, reduced, and so on. You can read all of those, you can Google those. Many sport people already noticed that uh, this is something they also need. And many Olympic athletes and uh, other athletes are already using what the, uh, Zinzino is producing and testing themselves. <clears throat> now, uh, we just covered two of the main building uh, and protecting blocks of the body. That is omega-6, omega-3 ratio and polyphenols, the antioxidants. So what's next? The next is prebiotic fiber. What is that? Well, in our large intestine, there are good bacteria, gram positive, and bad bacteria, gram negative, as you know. Now, how do we solve the riddle of, of uh, 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 having only good bacteria, only gram-positive bacteria in the gut? And uh, many um, sales structures uh, recommend uh, life bacteria, uh, probiotics, which I'm a bit skeptical about because people are le uh, lacking uh, prebiotic fibers they are lacking something in the food that those good bacteria eat. And if they have nothing to eat, if they lack the nutrients they need, they are dying. They are starving and dying and nothing will help. The bad bacteria will grow if people lack uh, a prebiotic fiber in their diet. And this is what health, all the health organizations say that we are taking, we are using, we are eating only one fourth of the prebiotic fibers that we need in our modern diet. So it's only one fourth of the food for the good gram positive bacteria. With this situation, <clears throat> it is close to impossible to solve that. So what we recommend is uh, different types of prebiotic fiber. It's uh, fructo oligosaccharides, it's inulin, it's beta-glucans, and resistant starch. And you need five different uh, uh, groups, five different uh, formula of uh, prebiotic fiber to solve that, so that the whole large intestine would be covered. So we ended up producing uh, Xenobiotic. Xenobiotic is a blend of all the five main um, prebiotic fibers, and you can um, you can have a hard time to find uh, another supplement on the market of uh, prebiotic fiber that would have all the five uh, prebiotic fibers. So this is 
the third thing that we have to fix in the diets of people. As today, <clears throat> I want to remind that our subject today is returning people back to normal before even uh, uh, problems arise or returning people back to normal when they already have the symptoms. And um, so, so, so the third thing is prebiotic fiber. The fourth is we lack many, many micro and phytonutrients. Uh, uh, <clears throat> and I will not uh, give another lecture about that because that would take probably another day uh, to discuss all the all the um, uh, all the ingredients that are in this uh, uh, supplement, uh, well, and it, it influences immune system, it influences uh, joint health, it influences uh, all the structures, organs, and and functions of our body. So that is called extend. <clears throat> And people who understand about vitamins, they say this is a Rolls Royce uh, or in a multivitamin and mineral and uh, phyto and micronutrient uh, industry. So this is something very, very respected in, in Scandinavia now and in Baltics and, and in the United States and many other markets. So, and uh, we asked um, a, a simple way to explain what it is because it's easy to explain what is omega-3 and polyphenol mixture. Uh, it's easy to explain what is uh, uh, prebiotic fiber blend, but it's a bit more difficult to explain what is extend. But here's, here it comes. We got this visualization of what it is. So four capsules of extend equals nine kilograms of fresh vegetables, fruits, seeds, and many other um, uh, nutrients from uh, plants. So it's nine kilograms of all the active ingredients that were there. So the water is out of there, the uh, proteins are out, it's just the active micronutrients. This is something really amazing. And when I started taking those uh, uh, extend the capsules, my health changed quite drastically <clears throat> and I was already taking balance oil for uh, for several years so okay the next one is beta glucans one three one six beta glucans and I would uh, strongly suggest you to to google and to find what it is it helps immune system the best way probably is to to find on YouTube <clears throat> uh, one comma three uh, minus one comma six beta glucans you can check and you can find uh, well immune and uh, what it does in the body with the immune system uh, it enhances the function of the immune system which might be very important these days now we already covered uh, the first four now the fifth one in my own uh, uh, recommendations is physical exertion and what I do is uh, two things. I run and I do Pilates. <clears throat> and I will not stop uh, for a long time here. Well, running uh, helps uh, to keep my fitness uh, of my heart and of my muscles and, uh, and uh, my uh, cardiovascular circulatory system and many other um, uh, organs and, 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 um, and so on. But, Pilates helps me to balance back the muscles and, uh, and uh, uh, to, to have a good balance uh, around all the joints and around uh, my uh, um, spinal cord. And, and uh, so it is both of those are very important for me. And that's what I recommend. Now, many sport people started using what Zinzino uses. So, so sport needs also good balance of food, right? So overweight correction that's something we started working with also we ended up producing uh, the shake uh, that has many many building blocks of the body but very low calories so the more a person eats of the lean shake the more that person is out of the unbalanced uh, eating so means they start 
unbalanced eating is very high calories, very low nutrient density, constructive materials of the body. In that case, if people tend to use that type of food, they get hungry very fast because they eat too much calories, they produce fat out of it, but they lack the nutrients that they need to rebuild the body. So the hunger comes back. And if they make the wrong choice again, the hunger comes back and it comes back and it comes back. And they are in that vicious circle. Now with the um, um, uh, uh, lean shake, it's the opposite thing around. It's very low calories, very high nutrient density. So if they eat this, they, they are not lacking calories. They are lacking building blocks. When they get those building blocks, they say, oh, the body says, oh, um, I feel satiant now. I don't, I'm not hungry anymore. Uh, I don't want to eat. So, and this is natural. This is not, no, no chemistry here. It's all the natural ingredients. It's just very high nutrient density, very low calories. The more you eat of it, the faster you lose your weight. Because you lack calories, you got to burn your own fat. This is, this is very simple. Now, another uh, thing that we started working with is emotion management, which is also very, very important. Well, many people are stressed out. The, 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 today's life is much more stressful than in the past. Uh, so, well, uh, probably not, not talking about all the human history, but, but this is a long, long time, uh, long term stress. Uh, that people face and with bad nutrition that they end up sleeping badly they end up uh, poor, with poor emotion management and viva is made from chafran and in chafran there are several very good active ingredients and uh, there's no um, no um, adverse effects whatsoever but it Im improves sleep it improves uh, uh, emotions, uh, so it normally regulates. And I like, uh, this is almost uh, poetic to say that it is a spa for the mind. So, so this is Viva. Now, now next uh, thing that we want to protect in uh, people bodies is skin. And uh, skin serum uh, has many active ingredients. Uh, it has protective ingredients. It has uh, the, the restoring ingredients. And it has some cosmetic ingredients that make uh, your uh, skin glowing and looking uh, healthier and nicer. So, so and that, that's actually not the vanity product. That's not just about uh, you looking good. This is something about skin health because it has to be protected from sunlight, and, uh, and many other um, um, bad influences, uh, like conditioned air, <clears throat> which uh, make uh, skin dry and so on and on and on. And pollution uh, in the cities, that also, we need to protect the skin, especially the one that's not covered with, uh, with clothes. So this is what we ended up uh, doing also. And now one more thing, <clears throat> what we recommend is to fix that we don't do ourselves. So, so in this list, <clears throat> physical exertion is what we leave to the customer on their own and the periodontal uh, inflammation. That will also affect uh, people uh, health very, very much because periodontal inflammation may end up <clears throat> being a very, very big problem with the brain functions or with the heart uh, um, infection or whatever. So, so this is the 10th, uh, one of the 10 uh, things I strongly recommend. So now let's sum it up. Most of the people do too many unhealthy choices and that's a choice today. That's no longer, uh, you know, that's no one forces them to do that. Sometimes they don't know, then it's not a choice. That's our job to inform them about it, to educate them about omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, about polyphenols, about prebiotic fiber, micronutrients, physical exertion, uh, lowering sugars, 
not keeping themselves in overweight, uh, uh, lowering poison consumption like smoking or, or alcohol and so on, and, and uh, managing uh, emotions better uh, and protecting their skin and fixing their periodontal situation. Now, <clears throat> the strange thing is, is it very difficult to do? Why so many people, close to 100%, are doing one or more or even all of those bad choices? Why is it so? Is it difficult? Is it expensive? Is it time consuming? What's the problem? And what I came up with, even when I educate people about it, Eight out of 10 believe they are already, they already do that or already know it. And that's not the truth because when we test it, we see that this is not true. So do you, let's start from ourselves. Do you already know all of it? Probably yes, as we are talking to doctors today. Do you already do all of it? That's a big question. And that's something you got to be honest with yourself. Do you walk the talk? Do you achieve the results and do you test the results? So that's what I'm, what I'm inviting you to join me on, to be testing the results and to be walking the talk, to be doing it in reality and returning back to good choices. So, and for the customers that I'm talking to, uh, after all this information, they say, oh my, this is so much information. Our heads are swollen and we have no clue what to start with. So then I have several very simple guidelines. What shall I do with all of this information? First, get balance tested. Get yourself tested and see your scores. Omega-6 to omega-3s are so important that this is impossible to even stress it out well enough. It just has to be done. So then second, it's either plan A, plan B or plan C. Plan A is start with all the health protocol, which is balance oil, xenobiotic, prebiotic fiber and extend. There is nothing in those three, everything in those three is something you need. There's nothing your body doesn't need. And in most probably all the three is lacking in your body. So take the whole health protocol if you can. Now, if there is no chance, if the finances are limited or, or some other restrictions, then start with balance oil and extend or xenobiotic. So take the two out of the three and plan C is just starting with balance oil and at least balancing uh, your fatty acids back to normal and then the third get retested check if you really return back to normal ratios in four to six months so this is the simple guidelines get tested take health protocol and get retested four to six months later. So this is, this is the, the, the words that I say to myself, and that's what I recommend to everyone. Make healthy choices, make more and more of the healthy choices. That's contagious. Uh, the more healthy choices I do, the more of them I want to do, <laughs> because that feels so good. Keep testing the results. Don't just talk about it. Don't just be uh, scientific about it. Test, 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 test. Thank you so very much. And thank you very much, Andrew, for uh, helping me to share um, this uh, very, very important information and uh, the way back to the norm. Thank, thank you. you. So thank you very much, Cash. It was a fantastic presentation. Uh, I'm so glad I invited you today. And thank you very much, everyone, for watching it and uh, uh, refer to the person who invited to watch you this presentation today or later on for all the information you would like to get about the products or about the ratios or about anything from this presentation. Have a great day, whatever in the world you are, and let's make the balance, the world more in balance.
Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.